Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Phoebe. In today's video, I'm here on Bloxburg. And I actually thought I would do a YouTuber's in real life routine today because obviously I am a YouTuber and this is my full job. And some of you aspire to be a YouTuber when you grow up too. So I thought, why not can I give you guys an insight into what my daily routine is like? Now, my daily routine is probably quite boring because I do work quite a lot of the time. I think YouTube does sound easy and don't get me wrong, it's probably an easier job than doing like hard labor and something like that. However, it does tire me out. So I have a lot of naps during the day because I do get quite tired from it because I do like all the recording, editing and then thumbnails and responding. And sometimes it can be a lot in one day, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I absolutely love my job and I love you guys. So thank you so much for supporting me and allowing this to be my dream. Anyway, as I can say, because I kind of am my own boss in my YouTube career, I can basically just have flexible work hours and you can just wake up any time. And although that's like a pro, it also is kind of like a con because it means that sometimes I'm not in the right mindset or I'm not on top of my videos. That's why sometimes I break just because sometimes it can be very, very stressful. But we're going to start off in my bedroom at the moment. So although I'm very lucky and I don't have a boss that can kind of fire me if I don't wake up for work very early, I can wake up any time I want. However, I do try and wake up around 10am or 11am from my bed and I will get up usually in my pyjamas and everything like that. I actually stay in my pyjamas all day. So let me actually change my outfit. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm in my pyjamas 24-7 because I don't really leave my house. I'm kind of antisocial in that way because I'm just always at home, kind of on YouTube. And yes, I'm always in my pyjamas. I probably have more pyjamas than I do actual clothes. Anyway, I will now wake up and then I will head downstairs to kind of greet everyone, everyone in my family, say good morning to them all. And I usually start my day off by kind of having like a green tea. So I'll boil a kettle and I will make myself a green tea just like this. And I usually will maybe like sit in the garden for a bit, just get some fresh air because I'm not gonna lie, since I'm on YouTube and I'm on the computer most of the time, I very, very rarely get to go outside, which is kind of annoying because I love being outside and I love fresh air and everything like that. But you can't really bring your computer outside. So I usually just have my green tea, I usually play with my pets outside in the garden and I just throw on my cup because I cannot be bothered to clean that. And then once I've done that, when I'm actually in the garden, sometimes I'll just sit on the chair and I actually start planning my day. I think that's such a good schedule to have. Even if you're not a YouTuber or maybe you're doing work at school or you have a job, it's very important to schedule a day. I've realized that so much over the past year. I usually say what I want to call this day, what's going to happen this day, everything that I want to accomplish. And then when I do that, I just feel so fulfilled and happy. Once I have then planned my day, it is now time for me to make myself some breakfast because obviously that's quite important. Especially because I will be doing a lot of recording, so I do need the energy to so obviously you know record some of my videos. So I usually try and think of something that's quite easy to have. I'm not gonna lie, I do order a lot of food because I just don't have the time to cook, but it is important sometimes to cook your own food. So I want to make myself some pancakes today, and then I can start frying these. And then usually whilst I'm doing this, I just have conversations with my family or anyone that's in my house. Okay, and then my pancakes are all done and usually I'll just grab myself a quick drink so I'll probably just get some juice and then once I have this I actually have my own like desk in my room however in my Boxburg house I actually have my own office which is my dream one day because I'd love to have my own office so I can have my own little workspace so I would usually just sit down my food and drink on the table and then I usually just sit down, I'll be watching some YouTube, I just eat my breakfast so I can start the day. And then once I have had my breakfast, it is now time for me to start recording. So this is usually around 12pm to 1pm, I would say I start doing some recordings. Obviously I do my recordings mainly with Josh, but sometimes I'll do it with Amber and with Chicken. And I have to do recordings for them too, so I would say I probably roughly record three videos a day. And I record all these videos on my gaming PC. And I use OBS Studio to actually record this, which is free. You can actually download that and you can record anything on there. So that's what I use. I'm actually using that right now to record this. So I begin recording some of my videos or videos for other people. And that usually takes between maybe like an hour or two, I'd say. And then once that is done, it's kind of time for me to have a little mini break. So I'll probably just go downstairs again and just have another green tea to kind of like calm down because it can actually be tiring. And then once I've had that, it is now straight back to my workspace and time to begin editing my video because I usually like to edit it on the same day so I can upload it. Like this month, I'm trying to upload every single day, which has been a bit of a challenge because it has been kind of stressful at times. 
but it's worth it because i want to make videos for you guys and make you guys happy yes i then start editing my videos i usually edit them on premiere pro which is adobe which you do have to pay for but there are many free editing softwares that you guys can use and then once i finish editing my video which probably takes i would say maybe half an hour to an hour i then have to export my video into the right settings for youtube i then upload it and whilst it's uploading it is then time for me to create the thumbnail so i do everything myself i probably should get some help because it sometimes it does get kind of tiring but i do the editing recording and thumbnails all by myself so sometimes that is why i am quite busy during the rest of the day and i don't always have time to respond to social media although i try my best it's because I usually am just editing a video or I'm recording or I'm making a thumbnail. That is literally all I do during the day. It's very, very boring, I know. And then once my thumbnail is made, I actually use that by going into Roblox Studio now. I've learned how to do like GFX stuff, which is really cool because Josh taught me that. But I can show you guys in the future if you guys want to know how to use that. And then I make all of that on Photoshop, which is Adobe as well. And then I export it as a JPEG and then I can then add it into my video as it's uploading. And then once my video has finished uploading, it is then time for me to monetize it. So that's how I get paid for YouTube. And then I have to add my end screen, which is like at the end of the video where it shows videos that you can click on next. I add all of those and I basically say what time I want the video to be uploaded. So I usually want the video to go out at like 6 p.m. my time. That's usually my aim. And then once I finish with that, I usually have a bit of a break because it is now dinner time. This is usually around like 4 p.m., 5 p.m. So I do get quite tired from that. So it is now dinner so I can go ahead and go in the kitchen and make myself something to eat. Nothing that takes too long because I usually am quite in a rush because I need to go back and reply to the comments of my YouTube video. So something that's quite quick, I would say I would make... I would probably buy a pizza from like Tesco or Sainsbury's, something like that, and then I just put it in the oven. So that's what we're going to make today. And then we can now bake it. We just set it in there. And then whilst that's making, you should have that take like around 20 minutes. So I can go back to my room, maybe watch some YouTube or listen to music to kind of chill, make sure my videos are like all perfect and everything like that. And then I will go and check on my dinner because it's usually time for that. So I can now take the pizza out of the oven and it is all ready. So I can sit this down in the dining table which i usually sit at and i have my family here too and we'll just discuss our day say how busy we've all been eat pizza because i don't actually spend a lot of time with my family i wish i could more but because i'm always in my room editing recording or something like that i am literally in my room i would say 95 percent of the time in my house i'm in my room the five percent is probably when i'm downstairs eating dinner or in the garden or just speaking to my family the rest of the time i'm always in my room is very very bad i need to get into the habit of actually trying to see the world more but anyway once i have had my dinner it's now quickly time for me to go back to my room which i always am at and i will just then start replying to some comments on my new video so i'll sit down i will heart some comments i reply to some people i make sure the video is on like the right quality that it needs to be and that everything is perfect and then i'm quite happy and then once that is done, my next task is to then reply to emails, check my emails, make sure that I am looking at all fan mail or business emails, I am looking at responding to them. And also doing social media, which is actually quite hard sometimes because it's Instagram, Twitter, and then it's also email. So I have to make sure I'm replying to everyone, liking their comments, making sure that I'm obviously not ignoring them. And I also have a Discord so which you guys can join. But I basically am the moderator for that. So I always go on there afterwards and kind of moderate the chat. Make sure that there's nothing happening on there. But it's actually quite a safe space most of the time. So if you guys want to join that and make some friends with some other berries. Or I even have like a notify so it shows you guys when I have uploaded a video. Yeah, I do that. And you think maybe this is when I can start having a break. But I do not because I then have to start work on a new game that Josh is making. Which I'm so excited to tell you guys soon. You guys definitely have to follow one of games twitter account because they have started giving some leaks of the game that we have been making which i'm super excited about but basically i just kind of work on that i'm not that good at doing like studio stuff on games however i've been finding like game sound effects game music that can be used in it there's a lot of things that have been going on behind the scenes which i'm so excited to show you guys soon because i feel like this game is gonna be your favorite game i'm hoping so anyway i know it's already gonna be my favorite game so i'm very very excited but yes please follow this twitter account if you guys want some updates about it yes i'm so excited to finally show you guys it soon i promise it will be coming out soon okay
But once I've done that, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably like 9 p.m. This is when I finally get me time and it is time for my bubble bath because this is the only time I feel like I can probably relax and just let all my struggles go. So I will come in here and I will run myself a bubble bath. And this is just when I can start relaxing and I play like nice music and I just don't have to worry about anything YouTube related for now because it's kind of like my time where I can just relax. And I'm not gonna lie, I will probably spend an hour to two hours in my bath, which is gross, I know. I'm kind of just swimming in my own dirt, but I do have a quick shower after to make sure everything's rinsed. But I just love baths so much, like bubble baths are one of my favourite things. But once I finish my bath, it's then time for me to get out, and it's usually coming around night time, but I am kind of like a night owl, and I don't sleep at night, so... I will usually get myself a green tea once again. I just love green teas. And I'll probably get myself some snacks too. So I'll get myself some potato chips and I head back to my room. And I'll just put all my snacks on the table. And this is usually a time where I can just call Josh. And Josh and I will be on call on like Discord with each other for hours. And I mean hours. Like yesterday, we was on call for each other for 12 hours. Like that's insane, isn't it? But Josh and I will call. We'll either watch a film together or we will play some Roblox games together. Anything like that. Just so obviously we can have some quality time together sometimes we also play for chicken and amber we'll do like a little squad game which is really fun once that is done i then tell josh kind of what i need to record tomorrow so that he's aware and we both make sure that we have time for each other so that we can record videos of each other and then usually and you guys won't believe this but around like 3 a.m to 4 a.m that's actually my bedtime like how bad is that i know i know it's awful i should probably go to bed sooner but I just, I'm a workaholic, okay? And I think when you're on the computer so much, sometimes it makes it kind of hard to sleep at night, which is why I have computer glasses now, which is kind of like a blue light. So it stops like you from getting sleepless nights. But anyway, it is now time for me to head to bed so I can finally go upstairs and I can finally get into my bed. I usually just check my social media again, anything like that, just to make sure I haven't missed anything. And then I fall asleep. That is basically how it goes. And it sounds very hectic and sometimes it kind of is. However, I wouldn't change my job for the world. I absolutely love YouTube and I'm so thankful to even have a job like this. It is amazing. So yes, thank you all so much for even just helping me even get here and to make this possible. But yeah, and then my whole routine starts all over again. But that is kind of my routine as a YouTuber. Obviously, I know other YouTubers probably have different routines. I should probably kind of schedule mine out a bit more because I would love to go for like more walks or do more stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna have to get myself an editor in the future so I can kind of get more time for me to do that. But yeah, that is my routine. I hope you guys enjoy them. You know, any questions you guys have in the comment section below and I will try and answer them all. But yeah, I hope this gives you guys a little insight into what my daily routine is like especially as a youtuber and hopefully it's interests you guys and you know what to expect when you guys actually become youtubers yourself if you want to but that is all from me today i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys like this video because it really helps me out also subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you all next time bye